I like to keep it life as normal as possible and I love it. So I decided not to be in the campaign so much. We've always known Melania Trump to be a bit of a mystery, haven't we? She's never been one to spill all the details about her life, her feelings, or her relationship with Donald Trump. But now, at 54, she's finally starting to open up, and what she's revealing is exactly what many of us suspected all along. What are these revelations, and how could they change our view of her, Donald Trump, and their time in the White House? Stay tuned to find out. Melania Trump, born Melania Knavs, didn't grow up in a life of luxury like we might assume. She was born in the small town of Sevnica in what was then Yugoslavia, which is now modern-day Slovenia. It was a far cry from the world of glitz and glamour she later became a part of. Her father, Viktor Knavs, worked for a state car company and was part of the League of Communists, while her mother, Amalia, was involved in the fashion industry, working in a children's clothing factory. One thing that stands out about Melania's early life is how she always seemed to march to the beat of her own drum. Even though her father was tied to the Communist Party, which was officially atheist, her family secretly baptized her as a Catholic, showing a streak of independence that would follow her throughout her life. Her early life wasn't one of privilege, but she did show an interest in fashion and beauty from a young age, which was perhaps influenced by her mother. This interest would later take her far from her small hometown. Melania's modeling career began when she was just 16, thanks to a local photographer who spotted her potential. After entering the world of modeling in her home country, she quickly realized that to make it big, she would have to leave Slovenia. She moved to Europe's fashion hubs like Milan and Paris, where she started to make a name for herself, walking runways and working with some notable designers. However, the real turning point in her career came in 1996, when she moved to New York City. New York wasn't easy at first. Like many aspiring models, she had to work hard and face plenty of challenges. She lived in a small apartment and had to compete in a cutthroat industry. But her persistence paid off, and she eventually started landing high-profile jobs. She became a regular in magazines and on the runway, even posing for some controversial photo shoots. One of the biggest rumors surrounding Melania's time in New York is how she got her visa. Some say she received an Einstein visa, a category reserved for individuals with extraordinary abilities. This led to a lot of speculation about how she achieved such status, but despite the rumors, Melania continued to rise in the modeling world and made New York her new home. Melania met Donald Trump in 1998 at a party in New York, and it wasn't love at first sight, at least not for Melania. Donald, already a high-profile businessman, was immediately interested, but Melania, being cautious, didn't give in right away. She played it cool, and after some persistence from Donald, they eventually started dating. From the start, their relationship was anything but ordinary. With Donald constantly in the public eye, their relationship was always under scrutiny. They faced plenty of rumors, from whispers about Donald's infidelities to questions about their unusual dynamic. Melania always seemed to maintain a certain distance from the public eye, often appearing more reserved and private, which fueled speculation. Despite the rumors and public gossip, Melania and Donald's relationship survived, and they married in 2005 in a lavish ceremony at Donald's Mar-a-Lago estate. It wasn't Melania's first time in the spotlight, but now, as Donald Trump's wife, the attention was on a whole new level. She took on the role of stepmother to Donald's children, including Tiffany, who had a more distant relationship with her father. Balancing being a wife, stepmother, and public figure wasn't easy, but Melania handled it with her characteristic calm demeanor. When Donald Trump was elected president in 2016, Melania's life changed in an enormous way. She became the First Lady of the United States, a role that carries significant expectations and responsibilities. However, from the beginning, Melania made it clear that she was going to do things her way. Melania's Be Best campaign, which focused on children's well-being and social media behavior, was her main public initiative as First Lady. 
While the campaign received some praise, it also faced criticism, especially because of Donald Trump's reputation for using Twitter in a less than friendly way. Many saw this as ironic, but Melania stuck with her message. Despite being the first lady, Melania managed to stay relatively private during her time in the White House. She avoided the extensive public appearances that many first ladies before her embraced. Some saw this as a sign of disinterest, but others believed it was Melania's way of maintaining her independence and privacy. One controversy that surrounded Melania during her time in the White House was her parents' immigration status. Critics called out the fact that her parents became U.S. citizens through chain migration, a system that Donald Trump himself was publicly opposed to. Nevertheless, Melania stayed focused on her role and continued to support her husband, both publicly and privately. Melania has always been more than just Donald Trump's wife or the First Lady. Before and during her time in the White House, she pursued her own business ventures. Most notably, she launched a jewelry line and a skincare line, showing her entrepreneurial side. However, like many ventures, they had their ups and downs. Her jewelry line, sold on QVC, initially had some success, but her skincare line faced legal challenges that complicated things. These business endeavors showed that Melania had ambitions beyond being in the shadow of her husband. She wanted to create something of her own and maintain her own identity. While her ventures didn't turn into massive empires, they still demonstrated her drive to stand on her own. It wasn't always smooth sailing, though. Melania faced a number of legal battles, especially surrounding her skincare line, which never truly took off the way she had hoped. Yet, despite these challenges, she fought hard to keep her independence and maintain her own career, separate from Donald Trump's business empire. One of Melania's most significant roles has been that of a mother. In 2006, she gave birth to her son, Baron Trump, and from that moment on, her life as a mother became her primary focus. Unlike many political families where the children are often in the spotlight, Melania made a concerted effort to keep Baron out of the public eye as much as possible. She even chose to delay her move to Washington, D.C. after Donald Trump's election so that Barron could finish his school year in New York. This decision raised some eyebrows, but it also showed Melania's dedication to her son's well-being. As a mother, she has always been fiercely protective of Barron and has tried to ensure that he lives as normal a life as possible despite being the son of a U.S. president. As Donald Trump gears up for another presidential run in 2024, many are wondering what role Melania will play in his campaign. While she has never been as publicly involved as some other political spouses, she continues to support Donald from behind the scenes. Her involvement might not be front and center, but make no mistake, she's still very much a part of Donald's life and political career. During the Republican National Convention, Melania made a rare public appearance delivering a speech that emphasized her support for her husband and his vision for America. While she may not be hitting the campaign trail like some might expect, her role is still significant. She's been known to give Donald advice, and her influence on him shouldn't be underestimated. Melania has also been involved with fundraising efforts, particularly with the Log Cabin Republicans, an organization that supports LGBTQ plus conservatives. Her focus continues to be on children's issues, and she has expressed that if Donald wins again, she plans to continue her work advocating for the well-being of children. Melania Trump has always been an intriguing figure. From her humble beginnings in Slovenia to becoming the First Lady of the United States, her journey has been nothing short of remarkable. Now, with her recent admissions and confessions, we're starting to see a new side of Melania one that might change how we view her and her time in the White House. So what do you think? Does Melania's reserved nature and private life make her more relatable, or do you think there's still more she's not telling us? What do these revelations mean for the Trump family's future, especially as Donald runs for president again in 2024? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And before you go, 
don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.